So hey guys, this is James and I recently read a message from my comments. It said, uh, is one firmware for the screen and other for the main? And I kind of didn't know what that meant until I went to my video and then I took a look at the two addresses or two uh, links. And one is for the Tiny Machines website and the other one is for the GitHub website. I kind of realized what he meant by uh, when I went to the GitHub uh, website. Um, they actually changed the uh, format, relocated and renamed the files. That's why it was a little different from my video. So this is going to be kind of like an update of um, and the process of how it works. GitHub is actually like a repository of uh, where developers actually put their uh, the firmware. This is kind of like the main source. So right here, if you look, see Insanity Automation is actually a fork of the Marlin firmware. And then as you can see from my uh, video, um, this is actually a little bit different. The file folders and all the uh, directories, they have actually cleaned it up, updated it, and then changed the file names. And that's where the, probably the confusion uh, lies but all the files are still here so what you want to do is basically uh, scroll down to this readme section and then it says that the Creality CR10S Pro, the CRX, the CR10S Max, uh, Ender 5, the touch screens are supported so these right here are the machines that are supported the 3D printers that are supported and you have to kind of get into the mindset of the developer and the, like the prefix tags or prefixes that they will put on like a lot of the uh, files. CR is just means that it's like a Creality. They put a prefix of Creality on it. And then X is for the different types of machine because Creality has a lot of different printers. They are using the same layout, the same firmware or the same uh, touch screen for a lot of their printers. And that's why you have this X right here. I want to give a quick shout out to Dave Dave who caught my mistake. So these two files right here are for the CRX, uh, which are the dual extruders. So this one's going to be for the stock and if you have a auto bed leveling for the CRX, this is the one that you're going to use. For the single extruders, you're going to use this one right here. The single extruder screens version 2, revision 1.1.7. And that's the one that I'm using. Yeah, so basically you just want to go down and then um, these are the supported uh, printers. And you have the screen files on this page. And then if you go up top, you're gonna find the hex files over here. And let me just scroll down before you go there. And you, uh, if you scroll down, you have like a lot of different abbreviations for like the BL touch is um, BLT. You have the bilinear, uh, which is BIL. So you go scroll down, they have all the documentations. So if you go to the hex files right here, this folder, you can see all the files are still here. So basically what you're going to do is go scroll down to the Tennis Pro. If you have a version 2, it's going to be V2. If you have a version 1, it's going to just be the Tennis Pro. So if you have the BL Touch, it's going to be BLT, BIL, DW6. And if you have any other kind of like addition or upgrades to it you're gonna find it right here uh, just look at the uh, the prefix over here and then you can tell um, by that which one you have to choose but the one that I recommend is this one right here if you only have the BL touch installed I kind of don't know what else you have installed on your printer so just take a look at these prefixes it will vary by um, the type of upgrades you have. So if you have like a mosquito, uh, Creality mosquito mount, you're gonna choose something else. Uh, what's the prefix for it? Like MC, see a CR10S Pro, the MC, 
uh, BIL right here. So that's kind of how you want to find your uh, hex files. And basically, <laughs> this is another uh, just a resource, Tiny Machines. Uh, the website is just another resource and um, they actually take their uh, firmware off of the Insanity Automation the Marlin branch. If you take a look at their uh, hex files, see again for the stock probe, you have it for the, uh, this is for the version one. If you have a version one, you're going to have to uh, put the jumper and the hex file is going to be different than the version 2. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And you have the screen files. Again, it's going to be the same one that a majority of the CR Tennis Pro, not the CR Tennis Pro, but the Creality uh, touchscreen, the standard LCD, are going to use. So I already downloaded the single extruder screens from GitHub and <laughs> I extracted it as you can see the D-Win set is over here that's what you're going to use to uh, flash your LCD and if you go into the files you can just tell that it is for the LCD just scroll through it they're all uh, most of it is all going to be images that it's going to have to flash uh, so it's on the LCD. The firmware for the main board is going to be the hex files. And I'm not going to show you how to flash the LCD files because it's on my main video. I would say that the uh, for the CR Tennis Pro, the one that I used, the uh, regular uh, bilinear um, for the BL Touch, is pretty much stable. If there is a bug, um, go look for one that's uh, whether it's a stable version or a uh, active development version so again I may be posting this video up but maybe a few months down the line or maybe a year down the line file names may have changed or the uh, order in the folders may have changed but I just want to get you familiar of how uh, kind of like this works so I don't get like a comment like this where it says uh, so one link is for the main board and one link is for the LCD. Uh, no, it's not like that. I'm giving, I'm just giving you two different resources uh, just in case something happens, like in case there are changes or whatnot on their website. So I hope you found this video helpful. This is going to be a supplement to my uh, BL Touch installation video because some people were having problems finding the files for the firmware the file names may change a little bit um, the directories may change a little bit um, but all the resources are there github is actually the first place that you would go to uh, find your uh, updated firmware and um, yeah that's about it um, so if you found this video helpful and informative go ahead and push the like and uh, Leave a comment below if you have any other questions and go ahead and subscribe. Thanks.